So, man, it's your big brother, K. Reno. I want to talk to y'all about um, when something that you lost is really gaining something. There are times where there are things in our life we're trying to hold on to. We trying to we feel that they are valuable to us. We have placed a um, artificial amount of value on certain things and certain people and in doing that we are so clouded by what we think we want what we think we need what we think we love that we don't recognize that it's not good for us then when we lose it for whatever reason for by whatever um, method that it happens we find ourselves hurt, broke down, crushed, upset, sick, disappointed, mad, and every other negative adjective you could think of. When in reality, losing that thing or that person, that thing or that person being removed from your life was one of the best things that could happen to you. You just don't understand it right now. It could be a job, and you could be working on that job. You could have been there a while and just been dis disrespected and overlooked, but you may love the field that you're in. You love the actual job that you're doing. You're just not feeling the appreciation from those who you work with and those who you work for, and then at some point, you no longer have that job, you lose a job, you get fired, laid off, or it just gets so bad you can't take it no more and you quit. Then you sit at home dejected. But the whole time that very thing that you upset that you lost or that very person that you upset that you lost was doing nothing but upsetting you and stressing you out anyway. So why are you lamenting over losing it? The reason why is because we don't recognize the things that are valuable when we're on the inside sometimes. And it's always good friends on the outside that are going, man, you don't need this. Baby girl, you don't need this. You can do better than him. This, this guy's not doing nothing for you. He's using you. He's doing it. Girl, you can do better than him. Well, I mean, I love him. And then he finally removes himself from you, or she removes herself from you. And you laying around here acting like it's the end of the world. When in reality, that loss was a gain because you've lost a person that has been nothing but problems for you and you've gained a freedom. You've gained a, a, a stress-free life and a stress-free environment. But sometimes it takes time for the, the smoke to clear for you to see clear to understand that. God removes people from your life sometimes. He removes people from your life sometimes because he understands that if he don't do it, you're not going to ever do it. <laughs> so it's like, man, let me, let me get this situation off. This job or this stressful circumstance out of this person's life because if I don't do it, they're going to sit there and, and just bathe in this forever and wonder why they're not happy. So what you thought you were losing, you really gaining. You're gaining peace. You're gaining happiness. And you may be gaining a replacement down the line that will be 
your real happiness. That's what you want. Don't settle for what you believe is the end all be all. The first person you fell in love with is not hardly ever, some cases it is, but it's not hardly ever going to be the only or the last person that you'll ever be in love with. The first house you get, the first car you get, it's not necessarily going to be the only one or the best one that you'll ever have. The best friend that you thought you had. It's not necessarily going to be the best one. Jobs, whatever. Give yourself time and have patience to understand what you're dealing with and who you're dealing with. And that will determine whether or not you should unpack and stay or get your suitcase and keep on going. Losses are not always true losses they are sometimes those losses or gains you are advancing in your life you just don't know it stop selling yourself short in every aspect because you only get one trip and you don't want to waste 20 30 years in a situation when you could have been in a better situation had you made the move when you should have made the move. All right, man, it's your big brother, K. Reno. I hope this helps somebody. Any other topics like this, keep on sending them to me. And um, I will address, I will touch on them. And um, keep it in mind. All right, man. Peace.